All bets are in. The state's gaming commission shows which developers will be allowed to build new suburban casinos and where. This comes nearly two and a half years after the state's gambling expansion law passed. Amanda Venicky joins us now with more. Amanda, are we getting close to Las Vegas? Oh yeah, Brandes, Illinois is kind of on the way to getting there. What well, with the state's existing 10 conceit casinos that have been running for years now, and then the addition of those more than 41,000 video gaming terminals that you have at cafes and restaurants and such scattered throughout the state. And then plus, just before the pandemic, Illinois allowing sports wagering that's breaking records. Find gaming revenue January through October. 2021 that includes video gaming sports wagering and casinos uh, notably does not include licensing or other fees uh, we've now tapped or i would say we've now surpassed the 1 billion revenue mark uh, for combined gaming revenue this year one billion dollars of revenue from gambling in the state hoping to further cash in as additional gambling opportunities get online even as Chicago is still in the really early stages of developing its casino plans, there was movement elsewhere. Today, as you noted, two and a half years since Governor Pritzker's major gambling expansion law passed, state regulators moved to advance two nearby projects, selecting the winning developer for a casino in Waukegan, and then also choosing to put a south suburban casino in Homewood and East Hazelcrest over a competing bid that would have put that in Madison. Members of the gaming board during today's meeting did not say why these two proposals got the winning hands, but the board chair did say thanks to all the applicants for their hard work. It certainly shows the quality of the work and uh, it, it's made our job not easy, but it certainly has informed our decision making. In Waukegan, the board chose publicly traded company Full House Resorts Incorporated operating as American Place. In an October presentation, CEO Daniel Lee promised to bring Vegas pizzazz to Waukegan. He says the casino resort they're going to build will have a helipad to attract high-end gamers. But the plan, he says, also to target those who don't want to take their chance on poker by making it an attraction a la Treasure Island or the Bellagio, like with high-tech fancy fountains in the casino hotel lobby. That once an hour, these fountains come alive and all of a sudden water is flying all over the place and hopefully we're not getting too many people wet. Um, but it becomes an attraction you want to come and see. Uh, and it's a non-gaming attraction that when you have company in from out of town, people, you will bring them here. No, you had four groups that got really serious about bidding for a casino that the Illinois' 2019 law had allocated to the South Suburban region. The winner, chosen today, Wind Creek, Illinois, LLC, which plans to build a casino at the I-80, 294, and Halstead intersection, a site that covers parts of Homewood as well as East Hazelcrest and is less than 10 minutes from the Indiana border. Being this close to Indiana and being the only four diamond facility in the area, we will attract those user dollars that uh, to Illinois instead of the opposite that's been happening the last couple decades. The location, he says, is designed to maximize revenue. And this, too, is going to be more than a casino, more like a full-on resort with a spa, concert venue, and restaurants. Including a sky lounge on the top floor of the hotel, which our architects say they'll have views of downtown Chicago. Developers of these casinos should not be cashing in their chips just yet, though. Getting preliminary approval is a significant step, but the gaming board's director warns it is just that preliminary. Now, meanwhile, some five hours south of Chicago, things are moving along. The governor among the officials on hand today in southern Illinois for the groundbreaking of the Walker's Bluff Casino. The casino also will be a huge tourist attraction, something that our region's needed for a long time. It's going to draw in tens of thousands of people each year who will be staying at our hotels and hopefully spending all their winnings right here in our backyard. Now, opponents say all these bold predictions of money coming into Illinois, into the localities hosting these casinos, are not going to pan out and that they don't take into account the costs of gambling, say for things like gambling addiction. Now that 2019 law overall allowed six new casinos, that final one, yes, that is Chicago's. There is a hearing scheduled a week from tomorrow on the five competing bids to bring a casino to the city. Brenda, back to you. Amanda, thank you.